a stable VFO can greatly simplify the construction of a homebrew radio project. But, especially if you want something small and don't want to program an Arduino, what do you do? Here's a possible solution. From OzQRP, famous for the MST and MDT transceiver designs, is the CDV VFO kit. I ordered a couple and here's my review. It's a kit, but not very many parts need to be installed. For instance, the main board comes with all surface mount components pre-soldered. All you need to do is solder on a few of the non-surface mount parts. In fact, you can get it going in about half an hour. Here's some of the main features. The CDV has two RF outputs. One is variable and the other is fixed. That could be handy with certain projects like SUPAT transmitters or receivers which require the two outputs. Secondly, to configure, you don't need to connect it to a computer. Instead, you just hold down the rotary encoder until a menu appears and use the function buttons to adjust the setting to what you want. The only downfall of having many things pre-programmed is you're a bit less flexible. For instance, certain types of phasing direct conversion receivers or transmitters may require the local oscillator to be at four times the frequency that you're operating on. In this kit, there appears to be no facility where you can have the frequency displayed reading a quarter of your actual local oscillator frequency. Still, I would expect that would be a problem in only a few cases, and for direct conversion and SUPAT type designs, the facilities offered are flexible enough. This is the manual which you can read on the ozqrp.com website. It's nearly 30 pages. It uses a SI5351 circuit description. Then there's the clock generator schematic and the parts, then the construction, testing procedure and mounting. Then there's setup, the menu options, which I found quite easy to follow. It is fairly flexible, for instance, depending on your transceiver configuration, you could have the VFO above the IF or you can have it below the IF. As it comes, it's pre-programmed for a 10 MHz IF and a startup frequency of 7 MHz. So if you're building a SSB transceiver with a 10 MHz IF, then you wouldn't need to do very much, just a few fine adjustments. This is the main board. All the surface mount parts come pre-mounted. This is the OLED display, which provides frequency and other indications. As you can see, it is fairly small on a board about 3 by 5 centimetres. If we just turn it on, this is the tuning control and there are two push button controls here. I've got the DDS connected to an experimental dual conversion superhead receiver. The DDS VFO appears to have sufficient output to directly drive this diode mixer. Just to summarise, the OzQRP CDV DDS VFO went together quickly and was easy to program. 
it can greatly simplify the construction of homebrew projects and I highly recommend it.